Huh? Yeah, I think I'm gonna move you guys. I don't like you guys over here on my left. The new setup. It's a work in progress. It's the flare! Yo! Monk Monk, thank you for the thousand biddies, buddy. So I guess we're not gonna animate anything. <laughs> oh man, they've come a long way in three games. So if you guys don't know what this is, this is We Were Here. It is a co-op puzzle game. And TNG and I played the third what game in the series. What a gift to relish. A victim that can't perish. Yo, TNG, thanks for the gift sub. We hit Wiccan. Which I thought Wiccan was already subbed, but I guess not. <laughs> Thank you so much, buddy. And we got a hype train going. Holy crap. Oh, here we go. Hello, can you hear me? Hey, found the radio. Holy crap, you're loud. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, well, well. Okay. <laughs> hey, Alright, so I have a big old book that says Image Between the Eyes, and I found another book on the ground here that um, has Cat. four one <laughs> dots in the west. Take one step towards the east wall. Start off by taking two steps north. Cat, thank you so much. to the eastern wall. <laughs> You may go to the western wall. After heading north twice, you may then leave. All right. I asked one thing from you guys. If you're going to bit, have a bit all at once, because <laughs> I got to hear them. No string, but hang on. I'm getting, I'm getting bit bombed. Hang on a second. I did nothing. Thank you for the bits. Oh, okay, now I've picked up a walkie-talkie, I guess. Hello, can you hear me? Okay, now I got the real radio, I guess. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Oh, I still have a map. All right, cool. Yes, I can hear you. I'm in um, I'm in an, uh, a room, a big open room that has some candles and a door with a gate in front of it. Okay, candles. I have more books and a map. Well, I have uh, books. The books on the back have instructions for like walking, like starting from the east, go north, west, and stuff like that. And then there's Thank also you so a much map for the level two well, the, a film reel, greatest chess move. I have to turn down the sensitivity. I've got virtually nothing I can interact with. Okay, do you see anything on the wall or something that's like eyes and symbols with like different colors? Oh. I have found a wall with some symbols on it. That's something. Okay. Do you see any eyes now or anything like that? Because I have a guide here that tells you like colors of eyes and and corresponding symbols. Oh. Hang on. I the answer lies. I've also got a green light and a red light. Green light? Okay, no. So the, those lights probably correspond to the symbol. So, um, what are... So the, it looks like they're in, they're in groups of two. Like, I have blue eyes, blue eyes, pink eye, green eye, blue eye, green eye, etc. What's the pattern? Uh, there is no pattern. I've got a green eye to the left and a red eye to the right. Okay, that's exactly what I needed to know. One second. You said green eye to the left, and what was to the right? Red. So that is a like a little squiggly line that has one, two, three, four angles on it, and then onto the right of that, it's like an M, but like it's like it like an M with like another M inside of it. 
Yeah, I really don't have any of that. I've got an N and a and a T that I can that I can click on. Okay, I'd probably describe it terribly. So it's like it looks like a little bit of like the side of a mountain. Uh, the one on the left there has a four angles, like kind of like almost like an e ECG kind of thing. And then the other one, think like an M, but instead of the uh, lines going like going up, down, back up, they keep going down, making like an X shape in the middle of the M. Okay, I don't see any of that. Let me explain to you what I've got. And I can click on these symbols, right? Oh, okay, hang on. Okay, so my symbols are horizontal. I've got three symbols per line. The lines are on top of each other. It's like in the brick, right? My top line has an, an X. Think of an X. And then a line going vertically top to bottom through the X and then a circle around the middle. Do you have anything like that? Yep. That of that is red left, green right, green left, blue right, red and red, and then red left, blue right. Right, that means nothing to me. <laughs> Colors on your wall. So my walls are all brick, right? What I'm looking at is a brick wall with two columns on either side of the wall. And at the top of each column, on the left column, it's a it's an eye shape with a green light. And on the right column, it's a red uh, eye shape with a red light. So you have a green eye and a right a red eye. So green left, red right. Okay. You need to press the two symbols, which is like the, the squiggly mountain line that has more angles, uh, that has four angles, and then the M with an X through it. Okay. I'm gonna guess this one. That looks like a mountain to me. No, that did nothing. You clicked a. Thank you guys for the level two hype train. I see the M with the or with an X with two lines going horizontally down each side of it. I see that one. It looks like an M. Yep, that sh that should be the second one, and then the first one's like looks like the side of a mountain. What? What cat? Choo! So the only mountain shape that I have here, it's like, think of an A, right? And then where the A's horizontal line comes, there's a line going vertically down from it. Okay, so then I'm like, um, essentially it's a, it's a line, like a line graph. It goes up a little bit, then down a little bit, then up a lot, down a little bit, and then back up a little bit. Puzzle Master! <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we got another room now. So I open up, I have another room with pictures on the wall, and then symbols underneath it. I have pictures of various animals and discon torrid shapes with different heads and skulls and such. Okay, I have a really fucked up looking monkey. Hang on. Can you describe it? I don't know if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> it's really messed up looking. All right, so we've got legs. Oh God. Um, all right, so the head is a skull with no eyeballs. It's got teeth. And then we've got a hairy neck that leads directly into its butt. And coming, its butt is essentially a face with a long nose with a tongue sticking out of it. It's got a tail, two legs like like a dog, and instead of toes, it's got fingers. It is not cute. Okay, it's a human skull, right? <laughs> it is a human skull. Okay, so I I see that photo. Uh, underneath it, I have the symbol of like a chap. Like it looks like a stick figure, hold like crying, holding his eyes, but the top of his head's gone. Followed by um, a church looking steep, and then lastly, it's like. I mean, how am I going to describe this? A square, half a square with like a person who has a squiggly leg.
what? All right, uh, describe the second one one more time. It look, uh, describe it the way you want it. It looks like male genital. <laughs> does it have a little flag coming out of the tip? Yes, it does. Yep. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you'd get that one. It looks like a dick with a flag. Hey, hey, put it back. Put it back. There you go. I'm already looking for references. <laughs> All right, and the second one says it it looks like a half a square with a crossed out face with a squiggly body. Yep. Like a mermaid. Puzzle master! I keep getting cut them off. Puzzle masters! And we got to in Myth Busters. Let's go. Oh god. Okay, that did not oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah, uh, it's filling with water. I'm gonna die. Okay, where are you now? I'm in a room, a hallway with a blocked off door that's got boxes in front of it. I got a stairwell no. that goes all the way down. It says purple. It's the word purple, but in green, and it's filling with water. Hello. Hey okay, can you go anywhere? No, I cannot. Anything you can interact with. Thank you for the follow. J2ROL. <laughs> oh, wait, I have another door. Okay, I have another door. It leads me oh, into like, I can jump. Um, like a dungeon. There's some knights and stuff. I'm walking through it. I see water. Okay, I think I need a parkour. Parkour! Parkour! I, I have three valves. Blue... Red and yellow. Wh which one do I need to turn? Okay, so I've got a word that says purple, and it's written in green. That's all I've got, and I'm about to die. Uh, what what two <laughs> colors make purple? Chat, what two colors make purple? <laughs> hey, puzzle. Hey. I almost died. And walk it out. Not gonna lie, you guys, the mouse sensitivity is a little whack. All right, what <laughs> you got next? I was able to go through the purple green door, um, and I'm at another door that's now closed. So I can interact with it. Okay, I have a map. So you said purple green door? Ignore that. Ignore that. Do you see any other colors? Hang on, I'm in a big open area that I'm exploring. Hang on a second. Bring down the guiding light. Oh. I have a map here. I'm in a very, very, very large area. Hang on. All right, do you see any white doors, blue, green, or red? Oh, okay. I finally made it to a gate that has some color. I got green. Is it closed or open? Closed. Okay. Uh, is there a is there a pathway directly behind it? Yes. Go that way, and then you're gonna take the first left. Okay. I can't go through the green door. It's closed. Uh, behind it, the as in 180 degrees from it. Hang on, my chat is seeing other colors. I don't see any other colors. There should be white, blue, green, and red. Some are open, some are closed. And I have X's on the map, and I think those are keys to open the door that you need to get. Okay. All right, I just found another color. It's red and it's open. Go through it. Okay, I have a picture of a uh oh of a of a dog with bat wings. Okay, I'm not at the time, but we'll note that. Um you wanna keep going and you're gonna keep going straight. 
Okay, I see a green door in front of me. It's open. Go through it. And then when you enter in that room, you should see something off to your left. I see... Okay, I've got a gate here that has no color, but it has a green switch and some boxes. Pull it. Chat, did that do anything? Okay, that should open the other the green door that you were um you couldn't get past earlier. Oh. Nope, it closed the green door that was open. Okay, I oh I understand. So they, they change. All right, so pull that lever again. All right, I pulled the lever and that green door that was closed is now open. Okay, so you're gonna head back through that door, keep going, come back, go back where you came from. And then once you get to the green door, you're gonna go right down that path where the open blue door is, and you're gonna keep going. There should be a room with a blue lever. You're gonna have to pull that. Where did I come? <laughs> okay, so I'm back at the blue, at the green closed gate that I was at before. Where did you want me to go? All right, so you should go to the right. Okay, I've backtracked to a blue open gate. Go through it. Keep going until you see a room on the right. Okay, I've made it to a room that has a white open gate and directly behind that a white closed gate. And on the floor looks like a compass rose. All right, go go back. You went too far. There should be another room before that. Okay, I'm at a room before that that has a stairwell. Oh, I see blue. Hang on. Yep, pull it. All right, I pulled it. Okay, so now you're gonna go back to the beginning, but this time. Uh, you, so you changed the door. You, the door, you, the blue open door you came through earlier is now closed, but the other one's open. Okay, on your map, do you have a compass rose position? No, but I know where you are. Go left from the compass rose, like facing north, and then you're going to go right, right, and then left. Oh, there's something crawling on the floor! Creepy! Okay, I went right, right, left. Yep, keep your eye. So you should be in that room with a green lever. You're going to pull the green lever. But I'm essentially tracking down the thing that was crawling on the ground. Uh, you might have to kite. I, I don't want to. Wait, there wasn't anything that creepy in the last game. Hey, it was pretty creepy. Stop. Okay, I pulled the green lever. I'm facing the green lever. All right, you're going to have to go back the way you came, back to that blue lever and pull that again, and then that will allow you to get the red lever, and then you're going to have to do more backtracking. As long as I stay away from the crawly, creepy thing, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> it is too early to deal with scary shit. The fuck was that blue lever again? Excuse me. All right, I'm pulling the blue lever. Okay, and then from that room, you're gonna go there to the right and follow that path until you get back into that big hall with the green gate. And then you're gonna um, you're gonna go 180 degrees from the green gate to back to where you went, first found the green lever. All right, I'm at the compass rose. Can you direct me? One second. There's a lot of hallways. Yes, sir. So you're back at the Compass Road. So you're going to want to go right from north.
Guess I'm going the only way I can go. All right, I'm passing through a blue gate. Room. Okay, this was the gate that was closed. All right, so you want me to go through the green gate that was originally closed to me? Yes, and there should be a red lever. You're going to pull that. Red lever is pulled. Okay, so now you're going to go back the way you came, back over to that blue lever, and pull it. Where was the blue lever? Chat, I don't remember where the blue lever was. Right from beginning. Can't get back to the. I don't think I can. Little lost. Give me a moment. Take your time. I think I think this is the way. There's only something crawling on the floor chasing you. Stop that! Don't. <laughs> All right, I found the blue lever. Pull it. Hold, where am I going? From there, you're going to go left, and then go back to where the green lever was. Just Cindy crawling around. Stop it. When you get to the green lever, pull it, and then you're going to go north from where the green lever is, make a right, and then go through the open red gate to the left. Which way is north? North is to your left, if you're looking at the lever. Oh, okay. Am I passing through a red gate? Yes. Hey, I found a door! Puzzle Master. Really? With no, the wind noise? Down. Delphing. Cat. My wonderful, large, clanky power arm is dude. Alright, let's see how this goes. What? Oh. This is gonna be so bad, man. Hang on. <laughs> Alright. You know, that ain't that bad. Unfortunately, How it didn't kill him all, but yeah, hey, I'll take it. Ow. All right, Doc, what we're we working with. All right. All right, sorry, I can hardly hear you. There's a lot of wind noise. You want me to speak louder? Yeah, the wind is hella loud. All right, so I've got a chess board. Chess, you say? Yeah, I suck at chess. No lie. Oh my god, the I wind! I have a film reel. I have a projector here called World's Greatest Chess Move. But I don't know I how to machine. turn the projector on. I have a machine that looks like a generator. Oh! Uh, oh I'm freezing! Am I dying? Oh my god, it is so loud in my headphones. I'm just gonna push buttons. Can't do anything with that. Oh my god, I can't do anything anymore. I'm frozen. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Can you hear me? Yeah, I turned off the sound effects. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. That's one way to do it. All right, so my character is frozen. I can't interact with anything anymore. Oh, beautiful. Oh, 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 okay. Wait, wait, I'm interacting. <laughs> Good, interact. What do you want me to do? What am I clicking on? I can't click on anything. 
Oh. Oh. Okay, hang on. Okay, okay, I see a thing. Hang on. All right, well, I turned on a generator, but now I'm, like, extra frozen. All right, the projector still is not. That's a lot. Hey, you No, I, tur I turned it, but it did not show anything. Oh, wait, now I got it. Hold on. Okay, you so here's the a white, white, palm the, uh... Pawn King to oh my goodness. Okay, I'm looking directly at the white pawns. I'm in front of them. Are you there? Yep. So you're gonna have to move the, the white pawn two spaces up. In Which one? Which pawn? The pawn in front of the um the king on the white. Guys, move which one's the space king? Forward. That's then a you're bishop. Move bishop to space uh four. In front of the other bishop, followed by queen to space three in front of the bishop's former position. You gotta slow and down, then bro. Queen to all the way over to check. Okay, yeah, you gotta slow down. So wh where where's the bishop going? Uh, bishop is going. Hold on. Let me turn it on again. Uh-oh. I can't interact It should go anymore. two spaces to the left of the pawn you moved forward. All right, we might have to wait and let me die because I can't interact with... Oh, wait, what about black? I got to interact with black. You do? All right, then it's... You need, um, oh, I didn't know you had to do both. Okay. Uh, then you're going to move the pawn in front of black. It's black king forward two spaces. I think that's the king... Okay, and then the white bishop, the the one that you can move, you're going to move it two spaces to the left of the white pawn that's two spaces forward. Got it. Okay, black. Hey! Next, hold on. I, I, I think I'm playing both colors. Rewind it. All right, black, you're going to move the pawn in front of the uh, in front of the um the knight to the left of white, forward one. So the on um, the pawn on space C. C? What? All right, I don't know what space C means. So to the the knight to the left or the right of the king. Black. It's gonna be the the uh, pawn in front of the left knight if you're looking at it. I don't like this puzzle. I hate the fact that I can't see anything. All right, I need to know, is it the knight to the left or to the right of the black king? To the left of the black king. Move, stuck. I think this is the knight. The knight? Okay, I figured out which one's the knight to the left of the black king. I need to know, is it going forward and to the right or forward and to the left from its perspective? Uh, neither yet. You need to move the pawn in front of it forward one space. Oh, shit. Okay, got it. All right, the next... No! <laughs> Okay, we know what to do now. RIP. Okay. Okay, before I go out here and freeze to death, so I'm going to go uh, turn on the generator, and uh, you need to do the thing. Correct, I need to do the thing. So have you played chess before? No. Okay, so think of it like battleships. So if you're looking from the white side, from left to right, you have A, B, C, D, E, and F. 
and then on the from the top to bottom you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's let's not reinvent the wheel here. <laughs> well, no, that's a natural chess thing. It's on the thing I have, but I'll, I'll describe it the way I have it. So first things first, you're gonna need to do pawn in front of uh, king forward two spaces. Done. Copy that on the black side. Really look down. Done. Okay. The next move, you're going to take the bishop and put it one, um, two spaces to the left of white pawn that you moved out. Done. Okay. Next, you're going to take the pawn in front of the left knight to the king and move him forward one space. Done. Okay, next. One second. I'm still catching up. No freezing. Next, you're going to take the queen. Move him one... We'll move her one space. Diagonal down right... Okay. Move move the queen diagonally to the bottom right of the pawn that you moved two spaces forward. So I'm, move, I'm moving the queen two spaces diagonally in the direction that I can move her. Yes, that's a much better way to put it. Got done. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Next, you're gonna take the black knight behind the pawn you moved. You're gonna move him to the right if you're looking at black. Done. Okay. Next, you're gonna take the queen, and you're gonna move the queen forward uh, three spaces and take the pawn. Done. GG. Yeah, Puzzle Messer. Let's go. All right, what do you got next? Hang on. Turn the. Uh... Okay. All right. I am in a big ass room with a book on a compass rose that has some. Oh, God, more symbols. Um, And then in the middle of the room, I've got spikes uh, to the left and to the right. Oh. Okay. okay, I died. I died. Symbols on them. <laughs> Each of them on the back has different paces, like directions. So what are the symbols you have? Oh, boy. Okay. So what's in front of me is a maze, right? If I step on the wrong block, I get Indiana Jones to death with spikes. Uh, it sounds like uh, quite an issue. Good thing it's not me. All right, and I've got a book with symbols in it. I'm going to read off the symbols from left to right, and then I'll go back and I'll let you talk and we'll figure it out. The first symbol I have, think of a, a fox head. It's a diamond with two triangles as ears on top and a line on the bottom of the fox head. The next symbol over is a penis with balls. It's shooting something out the tip and it's got a curvy little hat on it. The next symbol over is an upside down U with a line going through the top that has a squiggle on the bottom. On top of this line, it is a circle with a line going horizontal. The next symbol over is, uh, think of an excited person, right? It's got an upside down U for its legs, a right side up U as its hands. It's got a line going from through the middle of both of those U's with a circle on top as its head. And on the right side up U, it's got two circles, like it's pumping its fists. And the line going down from the bottom of the U looks like a ding dong. And then to the right of that looks like a house with some spikes on each corner. Got the book. Sweet. So here's what the instructions say. Before one starts in the east, take one step westward. Then start by taking two steps north. Take one more step north, but not before moving one step west. Go west some more till one hits the wall. Then go straight for the door. So essentially, start in the east, take one step west, then two steps north, one step west, two, I'm um, sorry, one step north, and then west till you hit the wall, and then straight to the door. Chat, chat, can you decipher this for me? It is way too early in the morning. 
Okay. Want me to do it again? All right, well, I started in the west and I died. <laughs> okay, you need to start in the east. Oh, shit. Okay. So start in the east. I started in the east and I died. <laughs> okay, maybe not that far east. <laughs> one starts in the east. So maybe, maybe like one from the middle. Okay, okay, okay. I'm on a block on the east and I'm standing and I'm alive. Okay, take one step west. I died. Okay, which west did you go? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! It changes every time I die! Do the symbols in the book change? Yes! Oh, well, that's why. I keep getting different every time you die. I get different symbols. All right, let's grab the symbols. Okay. All right, uh, so the first symbol is a fox head, but it's got a body and two arms. We got the penis with a flag. We've got the uh, squiggly uh, line with a face with a cross through it. And it's got um, half a box. And then we got a happy person with diamonds for hands and a diamond for a head. And then I've got a one-eyed uh, girl in a boat with a pointy stick head. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mickey. So here's it. It's so don't do anything yet. So it says starting from the far east after moving two steps north. Head two steps towards the west. Move two steps towards the north. Take a step east before heading forward once more. So you need to start from the far east, so all the way to the right. I'm there. Okay. Then two steps north. Okay, well, I went two steps north and I died. Okay, what's the new symbols? Okay, so we got a fox head with an upside down U body, penis with a flag, uh, oval head with a squiggly bottom with a uh, 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 upside down L for a body. Uh, then we have a happy person, two arms up, but it's not a U, it's more of like a, a, a sideways or upside down C. Circles for hands, circles for head, and uh, horizontal feet. And then I've got a boy, one-eyed person, in a boat with a pointy top. I'm looking. Can you describe the first symbol one more time? Fox head and its body is an upside down U and it's got two uh, single lines for its arms. Okay, I'm looking around for that one. Not gonna lie, y'all, it's gonna be a long day in a hat. <laughs> okay, I found it. All right. Okay, starting in the far west corner. One moves north thrice, so go north three times. Does that mean twice then? Okay, so I'm a little worried because the last time when we were on the east, you said go forward two spaces. I went forward two spaces and I died. So maybe it counts that first space as a space. So maybe should I only go forward two? We can give it a shot. Yep, that's what it means. I went three spaces and I died. Okay, so it counts that one you're on. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so the book I have is the very first book. Fox head, penis with balls, uh, horizontal line through a head with an upside down U, happy person with a penis with circle hands and a house with spikes. All right, got you covered. Oh my goodness. All right, so start in the east. I'm starting in the east. <clears throat> okay, take one step west.
I died. Okay, so so if it says take one step west, does that just mean stay there? I guess. Okay. All right, all right, here, here comes the next book. All right, it's a fox head with a skinny body with two stick arms. We have a very skinny penis and balls with a T coming out of the top of it. We've got the plus head with a squiggly bottom with an N for its arms. Uh, we've got the happy person with the, the two fist bump in the air. Um, it's the sideways C arms and a horizontal line for feet and then a spiky house. Okay, okay. Start in the far west. I'm there. The next thing says take two steps northbound, so one. Got it. East twice, so once. Got it. Might have to turn down my field of view. <clears throat> <clears throat> then, hold on, because this is what it says. Then, after moving north two times, one can head for the door after taking one step towards the western wall. Hell, does that mean? Say that again. <laughs> so, then, after moving north two times, one can head for the door after taking one step towards the western wall. So, I need to go west and then north? Well, I think it's north once and north, then west. Because after taking one step towards the western wall, so north, then west, then head for the door. All right, so here's my new book. I've got a fox head with an upside down U body, with two stick arms. I've got a normal sized penis with balls, with a thing coming out of the top. I've got an oval head, squiggly body with an N for arms. I've got the happy person with the penis, diamond Quick head, diamond once. hands, and, a lot of and then a girl in a boat morning. with single eye and a pointy top. Yet. <laughs> hey, thanks for the bitties. The western corner of our is your start, so all the way to west. Syndic 20 meter on, second. Gap. Thank you for the bits, Mickey and Cindy. All right, you said far west? Far west, yes. Keep moving north, but watch your step. Before the last tile, you must head east. No, I stopped! I didn't touch the tile, it preempted my death! No! <sighs> okay, okay, so we got the same book, the very first book, Fox Head, Penis and Balls, Horizontal Headline with Squiggly End Body, uh, uh, Happy Person with Hands with a Penis and the Spiky House. All right, start in the east. There. So one step west, so stay where you are, and then one step north. Hang on, I'm turning down my field of view real quick. I think that chat might think that's the problem. Could be. Oh, 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 oh my. Yep, yep, that was the problem. <laughs> okay, I'm starting in the east. Okay, go north once. There. Okay, so here's what it says next. Tell me if you understand if you can understand this. Take one more step north, but not before moving one step west. Go west some more till one hits the wall, then hate head straight for the door. One more time. So take one more step north, but not before moving what excuse me, one step west. Go west some more till one hits the wall, then head straight for the door. Alright, so here's the new book. Uh Fox head, upside down you, penis and balls, oval head, diamond hands, girl in a boat. Stand by. <laughs> this puzzle sucks! <laughs> I got it. 
dark. Okay. Far east. After moving two steps north, head two steps towards the west. Let's start in the east. All right, so here's my new book. We've got fox head, skinny body, arms, skinny penis and balls, plus head uh, with the in arms with the squiggly body, uh, sideways C arms with circle hands and spiky house. Okay, who would have thought this would be so hard? The book lies. It reads as follows, starting in the far west. Take two steps northbound, head east twice. Alright, I'm at east twice. Then after moving north two times, one can head for the door after taking one step towards the western wall. Okay. Alright, so I can move forward one spot from where I'm at. So I should go one spot forward and then west and then straight? So it says, then after moving north two times, one can head for the door after taking one step towards the western wall. <sighs> All right, fox head body, uh, penis with a flag on it, plus symbol for the head with squiggly body, uh, diamond hands and girl in a boat. Dude, like, who writes these instructions? Yeah, My dude? Said penis with a flag. <laughs> yeah, penis with a flag. Okie dokie. Starting from the far east, after moving two steps north, head two steps towards the west. Okay. Let me hold you there real quick. And I just want to make sure chat understands this. So, it says stand here on the far east and take two steps north, right? Two steps north? Correct. I die. So the book isn't right. That is the right book. Um, maybe I noticed it says move twice and then steps. What if steps are like one and then moving is, that, is like an actual tile? I have no idea, but here's the new book. Uh, fox head with an upside down U body, penis with a flag, oval head, circle celebratory hands, and boy in a boat. Yeah, right. I'm just going to read the whole book this time for Bayham. Okay. Starting in the far west corner, one moves north north thrice. Take one step south, but not before taking two steps east. Continue towards the eastern wall, then head towards the end of it all. Who writes these things? Ancient people who did magic and stuff. I don't know. Okay, I'm starting in the far west. Yep, starting in the far west corner, one moves, moves north thrice, takes one step south, but not before taking two steps east. Continue towards the eastern wall, then head towards the end of it all. All right, I died. The book just doesn't make any sense. Like, I'm doing what it says, right? And it's dying. Okay, so fox head on the ground, penis and balls, uh... Face with a horizontal line through it. Uh, happy hands with circles and spiky house. So the first one. Okay. Is there anything else with in that room that maybe is giving you a sign or anything? No, nothing. Nothing. Else. Okay. So this one reads: Before one starts in the east, take one step westward. Then start by taking two steps north. Take one more step north, but not before moving one step west. Go west some more until one hits the wall, then head straight for the door. All right, so new book. Fox head with a body, penis and a flag, plus sign on the head, diamond hands and girl in a boat. At least we're getting better at describing the goddamn book. You say it was the, the happy guy with diamonds for hands? Correct. All right, here we go. Starting from the far east, after moving two steps north, 
head two steps towards the west. Move two steps towards the north. Take a step east before heading forward once more. Wait, Kat, did you look it up? Oh, wait, wait, we might actually have real directions. Hang on a second. Far right. Up one. Left two. Up two. Right one. All right, Cat is Puzzle Master. <laughs> Cat is the Puzzle Master. I'm okay with that one. Why was that so hard? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh God. Welcome to tonight's feature show. Uh oh. I just had someone well say, "Welcome to tonight's feature feature show," and I'm at the ear. Yeah, that was painful. Thank you, Cat. Thank you for getting us out of there. Uh, yeah, I got the same thing. So I'm in a room. Uh, I'm in a room. Hang on, let me look. What is this? This is okay. I've got clothing on racks. Two racks of clothing. To my right, I've got um, like an old timey switch, like Frankenstein would have pulled. Uh, and right above it, in red lettering, it says "Blood Light." Uh, in the center back wall, I've got another switch, kind of like the switches in the previous room. Uh, with white lettering that says scene one to the left of that i've got a trap door in the ground and on the wall i've got um looks like crank handles that i could pick up and i've got doors to the left and to the right okay all i have are doors i can went through on state i'm i have staged them on there is a gramophone and that plays a sound and a trap door It says there once was a, was a stage filled with light. All right, so I just explored the two rooms that I had, and they're like little scenes that aren't very detailed. Uh, to the right, it looks like there's a figure that should be a king. This has got a crown image uh, on the shape. And then in front of that is a doorway arch that has a symbol that looks like a castle i have a ghost now cat, 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 by cat, ghost what? i mean creepy puppet that i can't tell if it's getting closer or not but if i move closer to it my vision goes darker and i think it's gonna kill me uh it's not recording but i'll, I'll pull the vod okay uh to my left door i've got three cutouts um the front, the one in front is a symbol that represents like a crowd. It's got three people on it. Uh, the one behind it looks like, uh, I can't tell what the cutout's supposed to be, but it's got the symbol of a crown and a sword, like a king's crown. And then behind that, it looks like the crown that a bishop would wear, like in chess. Like a potipus? Uh, like, like in chess. <laughs> There once was a castle filled with life. I don't know what that means. I'm going to pull this so lever. We need a castle with people inside. What the heck is that thing doing? I pulled a lever. Okay, there is now red light here. Um, castle filled with life. L-I-F-E. Hey, Raider. The puppet's uh getting closer. Oh, is it coming after you? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Well, let's. Oh. Okay, I can pull the crank handles. Um, I'm gonna pull this one. Tell me what it does. Okay. Did it do anything? Nope. Okay, wait, wait. T read me your things again. There once was a castle filled with life. All right, so what happens if we do that again?
All right, we're gonna. Okay, have to I pull. see what looks like um a part of something sticking out. It's like a red thing. Oh yeah, there we go. I have life. I have people now. There's now people in the middle of the stage. Oh, you can see the stage. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Yeah, I need a castle next. Okay, that one's moving the castle. Sweet. All right, here we go. Perfect. Keep going. Keep going. A little more. Just like an inch more to the right. Okay, move the people back to where they were. Okay, they're not quite lined up perfectly. But there's... It says there once was a castle filled with life. There's now people behind it, and there you have the castle arch, right? Is there any other scenes that are, like, castle-like? No, so what I have left is um, a sword with a king's crown and the bishop's hat. And a symbol of a king. Try putting the king out, because, you know, castle has the king, right? Up it's getting closer. Okay, keep moving the king. He's not in the center yet. One more. It won't, it won't let me move it anymore. Okay. Uh, anything else you can move? That doesn't sound good. I mean, I can move the queen in. Try it. One's the queen. Okay, do you have like a left or something that will like uh, set the scene or something? I pulled the scene handle and it uh, gave me the the wrong noise. Okay, maybe try getting turn on the lights or get rid of the uh, king, king and queen. Get rid of the king and queen, okay. Okay, I think I think I got it though. I think I got it. Now, do you need to have the light on? Oh no. Oh no. Are we back at the the, the, the floor thing? Cat, yeah, can you cheat first again? <laughs> okay, I've got fox head, skinny body, skinny penis, and balls with a T, uh, plus sign for a head, uh, sideways C with circle hands and a spiky house. Starting in the far west, take two steps northbound, then head east. Then, after moving north two times, one can head for the door after taking one step towards the western wall. New book, new book, uh, fox head, upside down, new body, penis and balls with a thing coming out of it, oval head, diamond hands, girl in a boat. It looks for notes. That, <laughs> this one states as follows. In the western corner lies your start. Keep moving north, but watch your step. Before the last tile, you must head east. After these two steps, take one uh, step towards the south. Head for the eastern wall, then you may proceed towards the, do the door. New book. 
Pox head, upside down you, penis and balls, oval head, diamond hands, girl in a boat. Hang on, I think Cat's looking it up for us. Hang on a second. Uh, Fox with wide body flag, or is it a different one? Uh, Fox head upside down you, penis and balls, oval head, diamond hands, girl in a boat. Oh, it's the same book. So in the western corner lies your start. Keep moving north, but watch your step. Before the last tile, you must head east. After these two steps, take one step toward the south. Head for the western east sorry, eastern wall. Then you may proceed toward the door. Hang on a second. Hang on one second. Okay, walk up four tiles done. Move right to... Down one, two right, up two. Thank you, Cap. All right, do you have the same uh, wording? I'm not there yet, one sec. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's feature show. There once was a castle filled with life. That's the right one. No, oh, that's the king. God damn it. Okay. Now, does it talk about um, red lights or anything? It only says there once was the castle filled with with life. That's all it says, and I have a marionette coming at me. There once was a castle filled with life. Okay, that did something. Now there's red lights, and they went away. What do you see now? And there lived the king and his wife. Okay, gotcha. This is the king. So castle king queen. Okay, and then the queen should be this one. You think the castle too? I think it's just the king and the queen. Is the castle too? Okay, fair enough. I yeah, I know, I know. I get it, I'm telling a story. Okay, that should be good. All was happy and all was good. So, <laughs> what do you need that then? 
What? All, all was happy. All was good. Okay, so that's everything. Okay, hang on. Gotcha. Come on, interact. Thank you. Creepy Marionette is getting closer evermore. All were happy and all was good. Good. Until the king killed all he could. Oh, they didn't reset. Okay. So, the only symbol I've got left is the king with the sword through it. So, should I bring in the sword and take everything away except for the king and castle? Sure. Or maybe just put that one in and then get rid and put the blood light on. Actually, yeah, leave it like that and but get rid of the king. See if that works. Get rid of the king? Is this the king? Okay, I don't remember. Is that the king moving? Yes. Yeah. No, I don't think the king has to leave that. I think I th I think the king has to stay. Well, the the king with a sword is the king. It's the king holding a sword. Yeah, so you need to get rid of the first king cuz that's just a regular king, but the new one you brought in, that's the king, but he's holding a sword and he's covered in blood this time. All right, now give that a shot. Until the king killed all the king. Right. Standing in blood, he proudly said, to just the king with the blood and the blood life. Alright, we got it. And the hatch is now open. I'm through the hatch. I'm now in a gate going outside. I can't go in the hatch. I can't go through the hatch. It won't let me. Look down at it and then click E. Oh. Alright, I'm through it. Hey, I see you! Hi! Hey! Oh! I see. Okay. We have to go through the door on time. So you have to go through first? Is that game over?